A protest at City Hall stemming from the cops raid on Toronto pot shops earlier this month. Let's go live now to Peter Kim at City Hall with the latest. Good afternoon, Peter. Good afternoon, Rosie. They call themselves the Hash Mob. Members of Toronto's cannabis communities and supporters have looked behind me. About 20 to 30 protesters have shown up here outside Old City Hall to protest the 257 charges laid against members of their community. Now, on May 26, police raided 43 dispensaries as part of Project Claudia. 270 kilograms of dried marijuana was confiscated along with hundreds of kilograms of candies, chocolate bars and other cannabis-related products. Police Chief Mark Saunders justified the raid, saying that selling cannabis without a Health Canada license is still illegal. But protesters here are confident public opinion is on their side. It's devastating for people. Uh, a lot of, like, I got into this industry knowing that that was a possibility, but a lot of people, because dispensaries were so accepted, it became normalized and they thought that it, they could get away with it. So a lot of these people, because police were allowing it for so long, got into this new uh, industry thinking that it was a great uh, possibility for, you know, new employment for them. Now, there are 83 known dispensaries in the city of Toronto. The actual number is likely a bit higher than that as they've been cropping up uh, quite rapidly in recent months. Now, the MO for this group and supporters is really to outlast the police and the court proceedings that have begun against them, drag this out as long as possible until such time that the actual rules get uh, put into place by the federal government. Justin Trudeau says that he will introduce the bill by uh, no later than uh, next spring, and then the law would be enacted after that. And when that comes, it's likely that many of the charges could be dropped.